Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about toaster notifications. So suppose if you are submitting the form and you want to some success message in cool way, so you can use uh, predefined things which is provided by the sex. Uh, let me show you. I am going to my page and uh, here we are. We have the success message. We are getting the cool message. So how you can implement these things? So I am going to show you. I am expecting you have already installed in your system Laravel 8. If you don't know how to install Laravel 8 in your system, please watch my previous video. I have, I have already covered these topics. And also I am expecting you know how to create a controller, how to create a model and how to get a route. So I am not, not uh, including this part of this uh, in this particular tutorials. So I am going to show you how you can implement Toaster in your website. So suppose first of all, this is package. Uh, packages dot org uh, suppose uh, in uh, django we have the pip so here we have the package dot org something so here we need to implement some um, uh, right now i am going to show you using composer so how you can install laravel toaster then you need to run this particular command composer require this particular command you need to run your terminal inside of the pure project so once you hit the particular command then we need to add two uh, files inside uh, two lines or uh, inside of the uh, config app.php so first of all i am going to show you my code let me show you we have already implemented uh, inside the app.php okay so here we are uh, we have let me show you here we have the provider inside of the providers i have implemented this line okay toaster service provider first of all you need to add this line second one alias i have added here let me show you here we have implemented toaster okay so once i have added here then what i need to do so once i implemented this particular lines of the code which is uh, provided by the toaster so i have implemented both lines then again this is optional if you want to custom options for reminders you can put here i don't want write now anything so here so uh, here we have the uh, four types or five types error something so we can uh, print something information success and warning and error i will show you step by step okay this is the four options to so and this is uh, uh, for the if you want to remove something then i don't want to uh, remove something so i we will discuss about this particular four alerts okay info success warning and error something so once you have successfully this then you need to configure uh, in route how this is we need to implement i am going to inside of the web.php so once i uh, come inside of the web.php then i need to add here we are the get method and post method okay so inside of the uh, get method i am uploading the particular uh, i am calling this particular uh, block controller inside the block, block controller we have the function which is form let me go inside the form yes we have the, this particular function inside of these functions i am uh, uh, basically returning one form which is the form this is uh, inside of the resources views we have the form let me show you we have this particular form inside of the resources views and form dot blade dot php inside of this form dot blade dot php we have implemented three lines of jquery files first of all this one which is provided by uh, toaster let me show you yes look we need to implement this line we have already implemented here inside of the head tag okay also before uh, closing body tag you need to write three lines of code this one okay we have already implemented here okay so once this line you have added in your project uh, also then you need to uh, basically alert this kind of so toaster scope resolution operator and what kind of success message uh, alert you want suppose information so you need to put info if you want to success then you need to write success if you want to warning you need to run here warning otherwise we didn't we don't need to write anything here we need to pass what kind of message we want to hear and also hear the name only let me show you uh, we have added here let me show you here we have the success message right now so let me execute the file yes we have right now this one i am going to run yes we have the particular success message right now if you want to info something you can put here as a info let me redirect this one yes we have the info we have the success if you want to warning or error something you can pass here 
as a warning let me refresh the page look we have the warning okay if you want to error you can write here error let me refresh the page look we are getting the in red form so hope so this is clear for you if you want to more description about this video please let me know i will create another video thank you for watching this video